Welcome back to Two Tricks, One Treat, where every tale beckons you deeper into the abyss of the unknown. Today we plunge into the enigmatic depths of oceanic mysteries, from ghostly vessels to hidden bases beneath the waves. We'll regale you with three tales from the deep blue, but here's the catch. Only one of these tales has truly surfaced from history, while the other two are mere ripples of imagination. Can you discern the genuine mystery from the myths? Stay with us till the end to unveil which story has truly emerged from the ocean's embrace. Whether you're diving in for the first time or have been with us on every deep sea expedition, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and dive into our other tales in the links below. Ready to submerge into the mysteries? Let's begin. Story 1. The Mist of Rig Orion The Orion oil rig, stationed in a secluded part of the Pacific, was renowned for its efficiency and state-of-the-art technology. Its crew, a mix of seasoned veterans and eager newcomers, prided themselves on their impeccable safety record. But all that changed one fateful evening. It started subtly. As the sun dipped below the horizon, a faint greenish mist began to rise from the ocean's surface. At first, it was dismissed as a natural phenomenon, perhaps a result of some algae bloom. But as the hours passed, the mist grew denser and began to envelop the rig. The first sign of trouble came when crew members started complaining of dizziness and shortness of breath. Those who came into direct contact with the mist developed blisters and burns. Panic set in as the crew realized that the mist was toxic. Captain Rodriguez quickly ordered everyone inside, sealing off the rig's living quarters. But the mist was relentless, seeping through vents and any available openings. The rig's doctor, Dr. Harper, was overwhelmed, trying to treat the increasing number of affected crew members. As the greenish mist began its ascent from the ocean's depths, the atmosphere on the Orion shifted from curiosity to unease. The once clear horizon was now obscured and the vastness of the ocean seemed to close in on the rig. The usual sounds of machinery and waves were muffled, replaced by an eerie silence, punctuated only by the distant echo of the rig's foghorn. The lights on the rig, designed to cut through the darkest nights, seemed feeble against the mist. They cast long, distorted shadows that danced and swayed, making it hard to distinguish between man and apparition. Whispers among the crew spoke of old sailors' tales, of ghostly mists that carried with them the souls of those lost at sea. Communication with the mainland was sporadic due to the mists' interference. In a brief window of clarity, a distress signal was sent out detailing their dire situation. As the crew hunkered down, trying to wait out the toxic onslaught, engineer Leah Watkins had an idea. She theorized that the mist was a result of a rare underwater volcanic activity, releasing toxic gases trapped beneath the ocean floor. If they could increase the rig's height by releasing its ballast, they might rise above the mist's densest layer. Working with a small team, Leah raced against time, adjusting the rig's mechanics while trying to avoid the creeping mist. It was a gamble, but slowly the rig began to rise, lifting its platform higher above the sea. After tense hours, as dawn broke, the crew of the Orion found themselves looking down upon a sea of toxic mist, now safely above its reach. The greenish fog slowly dissipated with the morning sun, leaving behind a clear, calm ocean. Rescue ships arrived later that day, having received Orion's distress call. The crew was evacuated, many requiring medical attention but all alive. The incident led to a thorough investigation. It was determined that the rig had unknowingly been stationed above an ancient underwater volcanic vent. Regulations were put in place, and rigs around the world were repositioned to avoid similar occurrences. The Orion was later decommissioned, its name becoming synonymous with the unexpected dangers of the deep. Story 2. The Ghost Ship The year was 1872, a time when the vast oceans were the highways of the world, connecting continents and cultures. The American brigantine, the Mary Celeste, was no stranger to these waters. Built in Spencer's Island, Nova Scotia, and originally named Amazon, she had already seen her share of adventures and misfortunes, including collisions and ownership changes, before she was renamed and set sail on her ill-fated voyage. On November 7th, the Mary Celeste departed from New York City's bustling harbor. Her destination, 
the historic port of Genoa, Italy. She carried a cargo of 1,701 barrels of raw industrial alcohol, a volatile cargo, but a common one. Captain Benjamin Briggs, a seasoned mariner known for his staunch Christian beliefs and disciplined nature, was at the helm. Alongside him were his wife, Sarah, their two-year-old daughter, Sophia, and a crew of seven hand-picked men. The crew was a mix of experienced sailors and newer hands, but all were looking forward to a successful voyage. As the ship sailed into the vast Atlantic, Captain Briggs maintained a meticulous log of the journey. His entries spoke of typical maritime challenges, battling winds, navigating currents, and ensuring the ship stayed its course. The last entry, dated November 25th, mentioned no storms or adversities. It was a routine report of the ship's coordinates near the Azores Islands. But when the British ship, the DEI Gracia, found the Mary Celeste drift off the Azores on December 4th, the scene was anything but routine. The ship was eerily silent. The sails, though a bit tattered, were set. The ship's interiors, when inspected, presented more questions than answers. Personal belongings were in place, suggesting no hurried evacuation. A sewing machine, mid-task with fabric still threaded, stood as a silent witness to the sudden disappearance. A vial of medicine, possibly for Sophia, lay on the cabin table. The ship's instruments and papers, except for the logbook, were untouched. Yet, there were oddities. The ship's only lifeboat was missing. A makeshift sounding rod, used to measure the depth of water in the ship's hold, was found abandoned. The ship's main hatch was secured, but the fore and lazarette hatches were open. And, most puzzling of all, there was a significant amount of water in the ship's hold, though she was still seaworthy. Theories swirled in the aftermath. Some whispered of sea monsters, while others murmured about underwater earthquakes. The volatile nature of the ship's cargo led to speculations that perhaps a fear of an alcohol explosion prompted an evacuation. But if so, why was there no sign of the crew in the surrounding waters? Why did they leave behind a ship that was still seaworthy? The fate of the Mary Celeste's crew remains one of maritime history's most tantalizing mysteries. Over the years, the ship herself seemed to be jinxed, facing a series of misadventures. She eventually met her end in a planned wreck off the coast of Haiti in 1885. But her legacy, the haunting image of a ship sailing without her crew, continues to captivate and confound, underscoring the ocean's enduring mysteries. Story 3, Abyssal Base. In the early years of the 21st century, as space exploration captured the world's imagination, another equally ambitious venture was unfolding beneath the waves. The Mariana Trench, Earth's deepest chasm, was chosen as the site for Abyssal Base, a testament to human ingenuity and audacity. The world watched in anticipation as the base neared its completion. Documentaries highlighted its technological marvels, from its advanced pressure-resistant structures to its state-of-the-art life support systems. Leading marine experts and scientists from around the globe were selected to join Dr. Ava Bennett, the visionary spearheading the project, in this unprecedented deep-sea expedition. Once operational, Abyssal Base was a hub of groundbreaking discoveries. Daily transmissions unveiled the mysteries of the deep, from unique biomes to previously unknown geological formations. The world celebrated each revelation, marveling at the wonders of the abyss. However, the unpredictable might of nature soon intervened. Without warning, the base was rocked by a powerful earthquake, its epicenter located directly within the trench. Abyssal base, despite its advanced design, began to show signs of strain under the seismic onslaught. Alarms blared throughout the base. Lights dimmed, equipment toppled, and the once impervious walls began to creak ominously. As the tremors intensified, water began to seep in, signaling the beginning of a catastrophic breach. The situation turned desperate. Thousands of meters below the surface, the crew faced a harrowing challenge. Communications with the surface became fragmented, each message more frantic than the last painting a chilling picture of rising waters, dwindling oxygen, and the imminent collapse of the facility. Dr. Bennett, in a bid to save her team, coordinated a rapid evacuation. The base was equipped with emergency escape pods, but as the crew raced to reach them, the integrity of Abyssal Base deteriorated at an alarming rate. The immense pressure of the ocean began to bear down, and the facility's walls started to buckle. 
The world, which had once celebrated Abyssal Base's achievements, now watched in horror. Each broadcast, each snippet of information underscored the crew's desperate fight for survival. But nature's fury was relentless. Just as the last of the crew, including Dr. Bennett, made a final dash for the escape pods, a deafening groan echoed through the base. In a chilling moment, the facility gave way to the immense pressure of the ocean, imploding in a maelstrom of twisted metal and darkness. The final transmission from Abyssal Base, a haunting static-filled silence, served as a grim reminder of the ocean's untamed power and the perilous limits of human ambition. The base, once a beacon of hope and discovery, now lay buried in the trench's cold embrace, its crew forever entombed in the abyss. Thank you for embarking on this nautical journey with us. Now it's time to unveil the truth. Which of these tales is anchored in reality? and which are the creations of imaginative minds. The true story among these is the tale of the Mary Celeste, an actual ship that was discovered adrift in the Atlantic Ocean, its crew mysteriously vanished. The Mary Celeste, often referred to as the ghost ship, has intrigued historians and maritime enthusiasts for over a century. Discovered on December 4, 1872 by the British ship DEI Gratia, the Mary Celeste was found sailing aimlessly off the Azores Islands. The ship's condition was puzzling. Its cargo of industrial alcohol was largely untouched and the crew's personal belongings, including food and water, were in place. Yet there was no sign of Captain Benjamin Briggs, his family, or the crew. Over the years, numerous theories have been proposed to explain the crew's mysterious disappearance, from mutiny and piracy to natural disasters and supernatural phenomena. Despite extensive investigations and speculations, the fate of the Mary Celeste's crew remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of the maritime world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the unknown. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button and share it with fellow mystery seekers. And remember, in every trio of tales at two tricks, one treat, two will deceive but one always speaks the truth. Until next time, keep questioning, keep wondering, and always stay curious.